I am about to show you a bag you didn't even know you wanted. It is amazing. I am obsessed with it and I cannot wait to show you. Hello and welcome back to another video. So apologies for last week, I wasn't able to upload either Wednesday or Sunday and that is simply because we had the whole interior of our house painted, which feels amazing. We have been renovating for such a long time now and painting the inside of the house is like one of the last steps. So it feel, it honestly feels like I'm in a brand new house right now. So I have had this bag on my wish list for quite some time and I just kind of started browsing on eBay. I love to buy from eBay because you have access to Japanese sellers and Japanese sellers have a great reputation for vintage designer handbags always in really beautiful condi um, condition and authenticity is almost guaranteed almost I always like to do a little bit of a double check when I receive the bag um, this lady I'd never actually purchased from before she's just her own kind of individual seller she lives in Japan and she has a beautiful small curated collection um, I'll link her store below and I purchased from her so it was really nice to have a little bit more of a personal touch because generally I do buy off kind of warehouse bidding kind of sales on there and purchasing from an individual seller really it was so worth paying a little bit extra because I knew that the bag I was receiving was well looked after well loved and I don't know it just made the whole process a little bit nicer and a little more personal so I received the bag on Thursday evening and like I said I have opened it however I've repackaged it as best I can because it was packaged so beautifully, so much care had been put into it, and I don't want to ramble on too much, but I will kind of talk about the bag as I go on. So it just came in a um, parcel postage bag, a padded one, and it was very well taped up, and it also had the fragile sticker on there. So yeah, there's a lot of care being taken, and then inside the parcel bag, it was all wrapped up in plastic. So here is the bag. I know a lot of you already know what it is. Um, and look at this, it's been wrapped twice in plastic and you've got the little thank you sticker there. It had little bits of foam of every single piece of hardware. I didn't do all of them, but I did try and do it to the best of my ability. So we have the beautiful vintage Gucci backpack. Guys, this is beautiful. So we've got all the foam, like I said, wrapped around. These um, straps were all kind of curled up and wrapped up really nicely. And yeah, here's the bag. So I'm just going to quickly stuff it so you can see the shape of the bag with the plastic that it's come with. So this bag actually comes in a range of different colors. I obviously went for black because black is my favorite. And it is this beautiful soft leather. You've got the bamboo handle up the top, which I have already purchased a black dog collar for. It's just still on its way, which I will use to strap around the top to keep the bamboo in because I'm not sure if you've watched my video on my Diana tote, but the bamboo over time does start to kind of expand outwards and it causes stress on the leather, the leather kind of tags here. So that is what's happening and I'm really looking forward to receiving that collar so I can pop it on there and just kind of bring it back in and create a little more shape. So then you have the, you've got the little front pocket and you've got this beautiful little piece of bamboo classic gucci style and you simply just twist it um this is like a hard kind of backing on there you just twist it and you can open it and there's a little front pocket and then at the top you have this little pull tag kind of like that um very easy to get in and out of you flip it up and then you've just got the drawstring here and you can open the bag but i'll show you the inside of the bag when i start to fill it um but yeah that's the outside you then have the gucci kind of hardware on the outside here it just says gucci right around um and it's in really really good condition there is a slight loss of shape but it is a soft leather so that is bound to happen and there are no major scratches or marks on the leather and it's just in such beautiful condition you've also got these straps at the back here the hardware is so nice and gold still um, and you can adjust these straps as well so absolutely love the backpack and on the inside it also came with the dust bag and I actually haven't opened this yet so let's open this together so when I opened the, in the bag on the inside was this now I knew that I was 
getting this with the bag. I ended up paying 430 Australian dollars for this bag, which is a little more than I usually spend on a vintage designer handbag. However, I was getting one in such beautiful condition from an individual seller, um, and it also came with things like this that other bags don't come with. She's honestly packaged it so beautifully. So we have here a dust bag. So it's such a beautiful dust bag, still in great condition. Um, you've got a little tag on the inside, 100% cotton made in Italy um, and yeah I just really love the kind of green and it just definitely looks quite vintage. It also came with the Gucci um, cards so this is all in Japanese because it was from a Japanese kind of seller but I'm assuming that would be the care card. Excuse my nails guys after the wedding I ripped all my shellac off and I've completely ruined my nails that I've been working so hard to um, restore but anyway um, again you've got another kind of Gucci card I'm not sure what it says but I can do a little bit of googling later and then you've got like another little Gucci tag so all of that came with this bag and yeah just a really great touch and a really great touch for um, resale value as well so if I ever did decide to sell this bag on I'm sure a buyer would pay a little extra knowing that they received the dust bag and the original cards but to be honest guys I don't think I'll ever sell this bag it, I think it's going to be part of like my core handbag collection because it was on my wish list for such a long time and then when I received it it was so much better than I expected and when you see what fits inside I was just like oh my gosh it holds everything I need why would I ever sell this when it does everything that I need so on the inside of the bag, I'm going to take all the packaging out now, and I've actually, when I was looking at the base of this bag, I thought, you know what, that is a similar size to my Gucci Soho Disco bag, which I have an organizer for. So I am going to slip this into the backpack and see how it goes, um, kind of helping create a little more shape to the bag because it is a soft leather. Um, I'm thinking it will work really well. So I have the organizer here. Now that there's nothing in the bag, you have quite a large opening. You can pull it all the way out like this. Um, so very easy to get into. Then in on the inside, you have a little side um, pocket with a beautiful little gold kind of tassel. So absolutely love that it's quite simplistic inside, but you do have the option of a side pocket. Let me just open that. There is, oh, there's some little dryer sachets in there. Wow, so much thought has been put into it. Um, just some little, um, just to keep the moisture out. I might actually leave those in there. And then you also have the Gucci tag on that pocket as well. Very similar to the Gucci inside the Gucci Diana tote. Um, you've got the you've got the Gucci tag there as well. So that is on the inside of the bag. Now I'm going to put in this organizer. I don't need to put it in there, but I just thought that it might help to keep some of this structure. So it'll probably come to about there, which would be perfect. So I'm just going to slip that in and let's hope it fits. Oh my gosh, like a glove, honestly. And you know what? It'll just make it easier to find things as well. And I'm just so happy an organizer fits in there. I'm, I'm obsessed with organizers because it really does not only help to keep the shape, but it helps keep the handbag protected. So obviously I'm trying to prolong the life of these bags for as long as I can, especially considering they're already vintage. So I really like to take care of them and doing an organizer really helps to kind of um, keep its shape and yeah, like I said, keep it protected. So I've got a few things next to me I'm going to start putting in. Now I have a little pouch here that just has an assortment of things that I might need like um, hand sanitizer, lip balms, a couple of tampons and I am thinking that this little front pocket here looks perfect for lip balms. So I am just going to open that up. So we have the pocket there. I've just got this beautiful revolution kind of lip oil and I'm just going to slide it in there and guys it sits perfectly standing up. I'm going to then put in my Rituals Repair um, lip balm. This is one that my friend Lou sent me. It's like one of my all-time favorites. It sits in there beautifully as well, um, as well as a hand sanitizer. So guys, this is gonna be great, this little front pocket for just things that I use quite often. Um, and then I might just also just pop another little tampon in there. Okay, that's everything in there fitting really, really nicely. You could also put, um, maybe take the hand sanitizer out and put your AirPods in there, but anything that you just want to reach quite quickly, you could fit in there. You could fit an iPhone cord if you feel like you need to charge your iPhone. So I popped everything in there and just locked it. 
And then in the main pocket, I'm going to put my wallet. This is my beautiful vintage Chanel wallet. Yes, I, I don't think I'll ever go back to a card holder because it has been very useful being able to carry a little bit of cash and coins for like parking meters or a lot of trolleys that take some coins. So yeah, I'm really loving this wallet. I'm just going to slide that in and potentially put it in one of the side pockets of the organizer. I then have my Louis Vuitton four key holder. This holds my car keys and my house keys and my post box keys. Um, but yeah, I really love this. It's actually a vintage item as well because the box that it came in, um, its original box is super vintage. So I absolutely love this. Just keeps everything protected in your handbag. And I'm just going to pop that beside my wallet. I then have my AirPods. There is a little pocket in the side of this organizer that is, I think, going to be perfect for AirPods. Let's hope. I've just taken the organizer out so I can show you. This is how I've packed it so far. You've got the AirPods. This is like a little kind of drink holder, but I usually just keep my wallet and my keys there. Um, I then have my sunglasses. Now the best part about this bag is you can fit a full on sunglasses case in there. These are the YSL Betty sunglasses. I wear them every single day. They're super comfortable. They go with every outfit. Um, yeah, just a very basic kind of pair of sunglasses. So I'm just going to slide it down the side and stand it up like this. It almost fits perfectly that way. And then last but not least is my phone. Um, I forget what model this is, but yeah, it's just an iPhone and this case is the daily edited and I have my initial just um, embossed at the bottom there. It matches my AirPods. So I might actually turn the sunglasses sideways and put the phone in there. Guys, there's so much more room. I'll be able to fit, yeah, plenty more in my bag if need be. But these are the essentials that I always leave the house with. I do plan on doing some grocery shopping and just running a bunch of errands today. Um, and yeah, so these are usually just the things that I need. So I'm gonna now slip this into the bag. So that is everything in my bag that I would need. Beautifully organized. And you just simply pull the drawstring down like this. Um, and then you flip the top over and use this little tag to fasten it. So there you have it. There's not much more I can really say other than I just have a really good feeling about this bag. It's ticking all of my boxes. Love the little touches of bamboo. Um, and it's just such a beautiful bag. I can't wait to style it. Make sure you follow me on Instagram because anytime I do like an outfit of the day with this bag, I'll be sure to share it with you guys. And to finish off this video, I wanted to mention three things that I've, I've kind of been working on or just on my mind at the moment. So the first thing that I've kind of been working on is the Like to Know It app. I've only just created a profile I'm very late to the bandwagon but I often get asked by you guys like where did you purchase this from especially because I shop a lot of stuff on eBay um, so I am going to start linking a lot more um, in my description box below and over on my Instagram but if you have a like to know it account make sure you follow me on there and I'm just going to start almost like Pinterest like create boards um, with links to things that I buy um, the second thing I wanted to mention is a brand that I have been loving is Vendula London I think that's how you pronounce it but a lady at work years ago had one of their bags I don't think I would ever buy one of their bags because it's not quite my style I'd definitely like to go more of a minimal handbag so I'm thinking of purchasing one of the Vendula London little pouches they are so beautiful they have so much detail they're all different scenes they have all different collections of like little houses little libraries I'll insert some photos but I have always loved them and I've always thought to myself I really want one but I don't it's not my style because I'm definitely more minimalist but I've just had this epiphany lately is like life is too short to box yourself up into a particular style and if I see that and it sparks joy and I enjoy using it each day then that is what's most important so I'm thinking of purchasing one of their little pouches for inside of my bag that way I still have quite a minimalist backpack that I can use very user friendly um, goes with every outfit but on the inside I'm, I'm keen to open up my bag and there's just like a party going on inside you know so yeah really loving that brand and then the third thing I wanted to mention is I am looking to add a few silver pieces to my jewelry collection. I have been a gold girl for years now. However, I have seen so much more silver around. So I'm thinking of buying myself maybe a big pair of chunky kind of silver hoops and maybe a chunky silver ring and maybe just start with that. That way, if I am going somewhere and I need to swap to silver jewelry, I already have a watch that's two-tone. So yeah, I would just love to buy some more kind of silver jewelry. So yeah, they are three things that have been on my mind lately. It's a little bit random me kind of even bringing that up, but I just feel like I haven't spoken to you guys in so long and I just wanted to kind of catch you up on where I'm at and where my head's at. So yeah, 
Let me know what you think of the bag. I don't know what my next video will be yet because I'm still kind of um, getting the house back to normal at this stage. But let me know if there's any videos in particular you would like to see. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye guys.